and that's why I came up with the idea of these little notches. A very good day everybody, my name's Callum from DX Commander and I've got a really cool announcement to make regarding the DX Commander Expedition. So DX Commander Expedition is, well it used to originally be a three band antenna but we've kind of gradually increased that so you could get six bands now if you really wanted to. This is the box of tricks and we supplied a pole as well and some wire and other odds and ends but you've got the driven plate now is slightly different in that we've got up to six elements including the SO239 so if you put the SO239 on this this bottom one here you can still get an element by double connecting all right the main difference though are these the main difference though are the plastic plates so I'm out here instead of inside the lighting's a lot better the plastic plates now have got these little cutouts look so one of the advantages of being using my own product in the field is I built this once completely in the dark and I got my knickers in a twist they say okay so that took longer than I thought because I've never practiced putting up my antenna in the dark. Victor Kilo 3, Mike Delta Whiskey. A very good day, about 5 and 5. Got you. Got you, thank you so much. Uh, Zulu Lima 4. And I'm driving back and I'm just trying to imagine how we could just clip this together somehow and that's why I came up with the idea of these little notches. The notches are big enough that the shock cord can still fit in to the element you can get some twang or what we call doingy doingy, it's the official term, okay? So 20 metres for instance would attach to that, so that's the top spreader. 40 metres would carry on go up to the top. So further down, let's take the mid, this is the mid spreader. And because I wasn't quite sure what wire people wanted to use, I've made it so that the shock cord still fits in if you want it to, and almost any wire fits in, okay? Now the problem is, if the pole is bending severely in the wind, over say this way, you could get a situation where the, the wire could come out. So what we did is we're going to supply a little bit of extra glue lined heat shrink in the kit. So when you make your elements, you can keep your shock cord on the element. It can all go away in the bag. You, you lay the pole down and you just snap all your elements to it, starting with the shock cord and the fork connector at the bottom. And then when you get to the point where you've got to put your element in, you will just pull down very slightly pop it in and then pop it back up again because you need to fit this bit of glue lined heat shrink at the appropriate point. So I would say that's about 60 millimeters, maybe two and a half inches. And so this would cope with thick wire as well. But that is the best way of holding that. That's not gonna come out then. So when you want to dismantle, you'll just pull down It'll obviously pull on the shock cord, dying, dying, and snap it out. Job done. So that is, it's all on the floor now. If you, if you get one with a piece of leaf in it, you'll know this is the one that I showed you. So that's it. I think it is pretty self-explanatory, although saying that, over the years I have noticed that nothing is self-explanatory, but you can keep your shock cord on the element, you never need to take that off. You just keep it on and uh, carry on. I will attempt to write this up for the user guy, but I think a picture is a thousand words and a video is maybe 10,000. <laughs> All right, next video is coming up here. I'll put the build actually, the one day build that Tom and I did. Bearing in mind, we don't use the little carabiners now. I'm into these stopper knots and I'm just about to make a video exactly how to make a stopper knot. All right, so you can see that same as well. All the best for now. Bye.